Hi all, some of you may remember this as a model I built a year or two ago, probably about 18 months ago. Uh, it's the Martian War Machine from the 1953 version of the film. And what I did is this was something of a prototype. I got in touch with a guy at Starling Technologies over in the States and said, because he does sound cards and lighting effects boards for models, and I said to him, do you do anything that I could use to build this and add lights, I could, look, I could add lights anyway, but to do the sounds as well. And he basically came up with a sound and lighting board, uh, and this is from Starling Technologies. It does a very, very good job. It was a modification of an earlier board that he had. And basically, I've now sold this model, much as it hurts, especially now I've just cleaned it all up and it's all nice and ready to go. Just put some new batteries in it and got all the paperwork for it and um, I had a customer approach me from the internet saying would I build him one and I said well yes of course I can but this one is still here if you should be interested and um, anyway long story short we, we agreed to do a little deal on this one. So I thought I'd make a little video, uh, a last sort of goodbye and a little reminder to anybody who, who liked this model. I've had a few really nice comments over the last year or so since I did this. So basically what I've done is it's battery operated, takes three little AAA batteries, so it's what, four and a half volts. Um, so the model is pretty much as it was in the films, it's just a sort of copper metallic colour. I've put it on one of my usual bases and I've got three buttons, which is the lighting, the sounds and then an action button. And uh, I'll give you a, a little demo of what that does. This is probably the last, well, this is the last time I see it because it's going to go on Thursday. So. Um, so here you go, so this is the model. Uh, what I do is basically just activate the lighting and the sound boards. There's a little delay. And the first thing you'll hear is the sounds. Then the lighting will start. So we've got the green glow. Now a few seconds in, you'll get the hover sound. And when it's hovering, it's also scanning in the film, and there's this little scanner which is up here in this eye, it just sort of pulsates. Which came out really, really well, super effect. So that's, that's at that stage. And then if you press the third button, which is the action button, it will go into a pre-programmed routine. So you've got the sound effects, you've now got the gun tip, the wing tip lighting uh, or guns firing. Then he goes back into the death ray again which is the, this one up here. Back to another volley of the wingtip guns. Sorry, my hands are shaking a little. <coughs> and then it shorts out like it does at the end of the movie. And that's it. And if you leave it, it will basically go through the same routine again. Uh, or you can shut it off at this point, just with the sound and the the lighting button, it should fire up again any second. There we go, just that sound. Anyone who watched the film will remember that. So there we go, last little glimpse before it goes. Sad to see it go, but the guy who's buying it is a real War of the Worlds fan, and um, sounds like he's gonna get some fun from this. So, um, yeah, sad to see it go, but at the end of the day, there's no point in building these models and just keeping them all yourself. If other people can get some enjoyment out of them, then that's pretty good. We'll just give it that one last play through.
and that's it. Okay, so that's it. Just a little farewell to the one one of the models. It's all ready to go, complete with the instructions. Um, one of the things with this kit is if you watch the build videos on it, all the boards are in the box here. So uh, all the bulbs are up here basically and the whole they have a loom of wiring that comes down here and everything is connected up in here so if the boards ever fail all we've got to do is open up the box and replace the boards they shouldn't do um, I'd never advise anyone have these things on 24 hours a day um, but you know the idea is you can just put it on and show your friends or just uh, put them on every now and again and uh, get a bit of enjoyment from it so there we go a little salute to the the Martian war machine thanks for watching and obviously if anybody's interested in uh, any of these builds, just, uh, just contact me.